It's one of the most rewarding jobs in the Navy. Um, no other place will you find the camaraderie amongst the people, but the uh, companionship with an animal. Uh, they don't complain when they come to work. You know, they're excited to see you regardless of what you're doing. You mm -hmm. could have the worst day on the planet, they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Military working dogs, or MWDs, have been called guardians of the night for their ability to keep military bases and their personnel safe around the clock. They have been used by the U.S. military since they were loaned to American expeditionary forces at the tail end of World War I. Since then, the ranks have swelled during times of war, and today there are 2,700 MWDs spread amongst the branches of service. The dogs perform a multitude of tasks on base and downrange, and have won acclaim in the current conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan for their poise under fire and ability to sniff out IEDs. They are also integral to security. The base in Sasebo, Japan is small, but the MWDs and their handlers here have a storied tradition, deploying to conflict zones around the globe, saving lives and receiving prestigious medals for valor. Uh, they start bright and early every morning around 4.35 o'clock, we feed them. And then uh, handlers start coming in, pull their dogs, and then uh, they get their job assignments for the day and they go out and do the job. They are, they're really behind the scenes. What they do is they, their sense of smell is, you know, way greater than humans. They are able to smell items that are just placed on a vehicle or been sitting there for a while. They do a lot of interdiction and um, just like counterterrorism measures, you know. I mean, whether it be sweeping uh, vehicles coming in through the base or uh, the inbound mail to an installation. Mm -hmm. um, then site security, I mean, they're able to go into that unsecured building and clear a building faster than a person would be able to and more thoroughly because mm -hmm. they're able to locate the human scent and where people are hiding a lot faster. Go to building! Military police, come on military, lock it down! Exit okay, in the uh, patrol scenario where the dog was actually looking for an intruder in a building, so what their job is is to locate a suspect in the building and then um, ultimately determine if they can be arrested or if they're compliant or not, and then if they're not, then they get the uh, controlled aggression for, through a bite. Um, mainly we keep everything they do a game, so they're excited to do it, they enjoy what they do, um, and the bond between the handler and the dog is a lot greater. Um. Especially with a lot more of the inducive training methods where they're receiving a toy for performing a specific action, whether it be locating an explosive or locating a drug or a person in a building, it's all a positive reward system. Well, just like uh, people, everyone else has uh, their, like I said, quirks, uh, personalities. Some dogs are really high driven, some dogs are lazy. Mm -hmm. So you have to get them to work for you, not work for you. Um, yeah, just like people, I guess. They yeah, yeah. Have to just know how their different personalities to get them to work for you. Right. Some are really funny, some are do some pretty dumb things. And But they're always on duty, always. Yes. Yeah. So, do you have a, a message for any of the like criminals or terrorists that might try and attack the base here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-two teeth and fur. Yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs>